What is up guys, it's Mike here, and today we have another Mixed 2 Double Pack for the Zombie Invasion, or Zombie vs. Hunter, and it's none other than the Monster Mutt Dalmatian vs. Max D. guys here it is the last double pack for zombie invasion for mix 2 and also the last double pack of the zombie invasion for 2020 so far i'm really hoping to see more of these trucks maybe in 2021 maybe we get a place that we'll see what happens i'm counting on it but who knows but here we go and right off the bat i'm just gonna say i think this pack is a lot better than the first pack in the mix 2 doubles which the first pack was the zombie versing soldier fortune the reason I say that is because I really, really like the detailing on the zombie monster mutt Dalmatian truck, and Max D also looks really cool as well. So all three dog trucks are now zombie trucks, which I really like that they did that. And right here on the back of the package, you see Soldier Fortune, and you see Zombie, which Zombie, in my opinion, might be the worst zombie invasion truck, which is very odd. And then of course you got the Dalmatian, and you got Max D right here. So, yeah, the last double pack. Now, just like the other double and mixed two, I did go to one Walmart and they had both of these. I was able to grab them. Other than that, I have not seen them in any other Walmart since. So, hopefully, they're making their way around. If not, I would definitely stay away from eBay prices as these trucks are currently going for about $25 to $40 on eBay. So is the other pack. So, I would definitely wait out. But with that being said, let's crack this thing open and take a closer look at Dalmatian and Max D. Alright guys, here they are in the package. Very cool looking. I like this set a lot, at least this double pack. They look really cool. So we got Max D and we got Dalmatian, which completes all the three main dog trucks, which are all now zombified. And they look really cool. I like the way these both look right off the bat. I was kind of iffy with the other pack, but yeah what one should we review first i'm gonna go with let's reverse it we're gonna go with the hunter truck first all right so max d hunter really cool when i was thinking of the whole zombie invasion set i couldn't really see how they were gonna make max d a zombie um considering it's basically a robot max d the whole mascot thing so that was kind of intriguing i'm really happy they made it into the hunter series and this is actually the fourth truck out of four for the hunters which we did see son of a digger earth shaker soldier fortune and now we're seeing max d so it is kind of cool that the two most popular trucks probably in monster jam grave digger is a zombie and max d is a hunter so this truck does have the normal standard hunter casting or hunter roll cage chassis tires and rims and that's pretty cool and it does also have a trend with the hunter trucks how they're not clear coated and it has a matted paint job which i think is very well done and considering the truck max d is kind of like all silver i really like how they put the truck in this like kind of rusted paint job i think that's a nice added touch and just like the other two trucks um earth shaker had a lot of detailing in it son of a digger had extreme detail throughout the whole paint job and this one really doesn't i mean you can basically tell it's got rusted over i do like what they did over here in the back um they put chains here around the flames which i think is really cool and they had the chains going up on the side as well which is very nice we have the max d logo um this truck actually does not have the 12 champion or any champion logo which is kind of interesting and I kind of like it. It kind of looks like the like the truck just drove through like, I guess like a huge sandstorm or something. <laughs> you know, it's just covered in like dirt and mud and rust and all that. I think that's a very nice added touch. The chains and everything do go down on the hood a little bit here on the side, so that's nice as well. I mean, all together, I think it's very nice looking. You got the Max D, and you actually have one headlight here lit up, and on the other side, it's kind of missing or it's out which I think is nice and overall just a pretty cool looking truck here you got the tail lights on 
right here. They look like they're one's kind of dimmer on the top so nice added detail on this truck i like how this thing looks i think it looks good this actually might be um i wouldn't say the best hunter truck but it's definitely maybe in the top two and in my opinion i think it looks good and it does have a clear windshield i mean not much to say uh if i really had to say and you didn't really have this truck and you wanted to know what it looked like i would say just give max d put it for rust <laughs> you know let the truck rust out and put some chains in the design but other than that it is pretty cool i do like it and it does feel really cool too the truck actually feels really light but i do like the touch i like the matted paint i think that's really cool i like how they kept Ot maximus i think that's his name maximus with the glowing eyes and the glowing mouth on that side and it does have that side as well i mean there's current things they could have did like they could have patched up stuff but I'm kind of happy they didn't, and did they put the, no, that says Maximum, I thought they put the 12-time champion underneath Max D, but that says Maximum Destruction, and you got the Tom Mint logo there as well, so really cool looking truck, I like it, definitely cool looking Max D, so now let's move on to the last zombie truck for 2020. Alright, so a lot of detailing in this truck, I really like this, now if you compare this to the other zombie truck in Mix 2, if you don't like this one over zombie, I I just, I don't know. Anyway, so this is now the final dog truck. At least the three main dogs are now zombie trucks, and each and every single one of them are different, which I really like. This truck actually does have green rims with a green beadlock, the normal zombie tires, a black chassis, and a green roll cage, which we have seen that combination before. I just can't think on what truck. And... The first time I saw this truck, the first thing it reminded me of was kind of like a watermelon, <laughs> like a reverse watermelon or something like that. Um, this truck does have a yellow tongue, a yellow nose, it has yellow eyebrows, yellow, yellow ears, and yellow tail. Also a yellow tag on the truck as well, with a red collar, and it does have monster mutt in red. And this truck does have cracked teeth. It has a tooth missing, and it does have blood in its mouth, which is a nice added touch. And going to this side, this side is completely different than the other. There's a chipped tooth right here. We got some blood, and this thing just looks really, really cool. I really like what they did with the whole Dalmatian thing, how they made the spots, like basically tears in the truck or scars. I think that's a nice added touch, and you do have some paint splatter all throughout the hood and on the roof as well. And it doesn't look like there's any on the back. Nope. But that is pretty nice. It's a nice added touch. I like the yellow. The yellow really brings it out and makes the truck pop as well. I think this is one of the best looking zombie trucks. It is actually going to be really hard to choose a favorite zombie. Because they look really, really cool. And this one actually looks really cool. And I love all the dog trucks. The dog trucks really have extreme detail in it. I like what they did with the chipped teeth. I like what they did with the eyebrows, the tongue, and the nose, ears, tail. I mean, all together, all the dog trucks look amazing for the zombies. Spin Master, you did an amazing job with that. And I really like it. This one actually, this actually, I'll say it right now, this is probably my favorite truck. I had the whole mix two um, doubles out of those four trucks. It is just a really nice looking truck. Really good looking really cool so there it is guys this is probably going to be the last video for 2020 with the zombie invasion trucks i think spin master did a good job with the trucks we got this year we got four hunters we got a ton of zombies i think all together we got about 12 of them which is really cool and all of them look good i really like what they did um big difference from fire and ice um i love the whole fire and ice series but i do like how they switched up the roll cages and the tires and the rims on the different zombie trucks it wasn't just the same throughout the whole year but yeah really cool it's going to be interesting to see what one is my favorite one i'm going to go over the ones that we got now 2020 is not over we still have you know, last week, this week is Thanksgiving, and we still have December, but with everything with COVID coming out and everything, you know, some places still haven't even got Mix 13 or even Mix 12 yet, so it's been kind of weird. I don't know if there's going to be any more zombie invasion trucks. I think maybe, hopefully, a Mix 3, 2021, but we'll see what happens. But with that being said, guys, let me know if you found this pack. I think this is probably the 
best pack out of the two for the doubles. Um, definitely well worth it. Both trucks look amazing. They really do. And yeah, so let me know you guys' thoughts. Let me know what one you like. And don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys very shortly in another video very soon.